This is Max from the Clubhouse. I need some help. You guys did such a good job on our magical instrument for last summer's jamboree. And me and Blueberry were wondering if you could help us build a kite for this summer's festival. Oh, tell them it shouldn't fly too well, Max, so it doesn't float anyone off. If you close your eyes and think about a kite, what shape do you see? Most people will see a diamond shape, because that's the most common types of kite that you see flying. If you think of a different shape whenever you imagine kites, that is because kites come in all different shapes and sizes. The delta kite actually is a triangle shape, and it actually maneuvers really easily compared to other types of shapes. Yeah, and there's also box kites, like this one, which are pretty big and heavy, and they take strong wind to move. Your kite frame is gonna need to be strong and light. Uh, plastic or wooden dowels should work really well. And historically, kites were made out of paper, but today we use ripstop nylon, which is strong and it doesn't tear apart easily. And don't forget, the tail of a kite is very, very important. It weighs down the kite on one side, giving you a top and a bottom. I tried to build a kite and not have a tail on it, and whenever I started to fly it, it flew up, and then since it didn't have a top or bottom, it just turned straight back down and crashed and broke on the ground. So as you can see, the tail of the kite is very, very important and helps your kite fly way up into the sky. 